if you don't have your own Jupyter notebook and someone is going to give you one, then you have to um, download that uh, notebook or locate it. And typically the way we'll make these notebooks available to you is through a link to GitHub. So if you click on that link, it's going to take you to um, the page on GitHub. And as I said in an earlier lesson, GitHub renders these notebooks so that they look like a Jupyter notebook, but they're not actually runnable on GitHub. In order to be able to run this notebook, I'm going to have to download it to some place that I can find on my local computer. The way to do that is to go to this raw button right here and right click on it and select save link as. When I do that, a dialog box will show up and then I can decide where I want to save it on my hard drive. So I'm going to choose to save it in my documents folder. I'm going to go ahead and use the name in out and save it and navigate to my documents folder. I now see that the um, notebook that I downloaded is on the list of files there and I am now ready to actually run that notebook. If you are running this on your local computer, you can of course change the code cells, chain, uh, take notes in markdown cells, do whatever you want, and then just click the save button and the saved version of this file will um, be saved on whatever the location is that you um, have saved it in, whichever folder.